Mysteries. Pepper and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world famous detective. Ooh! Please help me, Mr. Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. <laughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <laughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. <laughs> and we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. <laughs> Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! <laughs> How does it work? You hold it in front of things, and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> Like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, <laughs> not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any Miss Stories. <laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish, jack-in-a-box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. <laughs> Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. <laughs> How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> George's friend. Peppa and her friends are at the playground. Peppa, Susie and Danny are on the left. <laughs> are you all ready? Ready! Then let's go! George is a bit too little for the roundabout. 
he is playing on the swing. Here is Rebecca Rabbit with her little brother, Richard Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> Can I come on the roundabout too? Hop on, Rebecca. <laughs> Let's go really, really fast. Richard Rabbit wants to go on the roundabout too. Oh, if Richard gets on, it means we can't go fast. Richard can play with George. Richard, would you like to play with George? No. George is a dinosaur just like yours. Let's go and see. Richard Rabbit is the same age as George. Richard wanted to see George's dinosaur. Grrr, dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> George, can Richard play with your dinosaur? No. Richard, can George play with your dinosaur? No. George and Richard do not want to share their dinosaurs. George, it will be much more fun if you share. That was really nice of George. <laughs> dinosaur! George does not like sharing. Richard, let George hold the dinosaurs now. <laughs> Richard does not like sharing either. What's all this crying about? George and Richard always cry when they play together. They're just too little to play properly. Can you two big girls teach them to play together? Of course. We can help them make sand castles. Good idea. Let's go to the sandpit. <laughs> <laughs> George and Richard love the sandpit. George, Richard, today we are going to make sand castles. First, we fill the buckets with sand. We turn the buckets over and give them a little tap. Now, we lift the buckets. Hey, presto! Richard has made a sand castle. Hey, presto! And George has made a sand castle. <laughs> you see, playing together is fun. <laughs> oh dear, this game has not gone very well. It was your brother's fault. He broke George's sand castle. Your brother broke my brother's sand castle first. Now, now! You two big girls are meant to be teaching Richard and George to play nicely together. That's right. We're big girls. And George and Richard are too little to play together properly. Hmm. I've got an idea. George, what's your most favourite thing in the whole playground? <coughs> seesaw! George loves the seesaw. <laughs> <laughs> seesaw. It is a bit difficult to play on a seesaw on your own. <laughs> Richard wants to play on the seesaw. <laughs> seesaw, seesaw, seesaw. Look, George and Richard are playing together. Seesaw, 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 seesaw. <laughs> George likes Richard. Richard likes George. George and Richard like playing together. <laughs> Mr. Scarecrow. Pepper and George are playing at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pig. Papa Egg. Oh, oh. Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Grandpa, what are you doing? I'm making a flower garden. Ooh. These seeds will grow into beautiful flowers. I drop the seeds on the ground. Then I cover the seeds with earth. Oh, where have they gone? The seeds have disappeared. That's strange. I'm sure I put some seeds here. Yes, Grandpa. We saw you. <coughs> well, they're not here now. Oh, well. I'll just have to use some more. 
As I was saying, I simply drop the seeds on the ground. A little bird is eating Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Oi! Get off my seeds! So that's where all my seeds went. Into the little bird's tummy. <laughs> Two more little birds are eating Grandpa Pig's seeds. Oh, look! Ah! Shoo, shoo! What's all this noise? Granny Pig, the birds are eating all my flower seeds. So we're chasing the birds away. There's no point chasing them. They'll just come back again. Look! We need a scarecrow. What's a scarecrow? A scarecrow is a straw man that scares birds away. What a good idea, Granny Pig. I'll make one. Come on, everyone. Bye-bye, little birds. We're going to make a scarecrow. <laughs> this is Grandpa Pig's garden shed. There'll be plenty of things in here to make a scarecrow. First, we need two sticks and some string. We'll find them. <laughs> Pepper has found some sticks. George has found some string. Good. I'll tie the sticks together to make the body. Granny Pig has found some straw and an old sack. Lovely. I'll put the straw in the sack to make the head. <laughs> now the scarecrow needs something to wear. Here's a bag of old clothes. Ooh. George has found a dress. <laughs> Silly George. Mr Scarecrow doesn't want to wear a dress. <laughs> Pepper has found a coat. Very good, Pepper. George has found a hat. Very good, George. Mr Scarecrow needs a face. That's right. Would you and George like to paint a face? Yes, please. <laughs> George paints the eyes and nose. Pepper paints the mouth. Fantastic! Mr Scarecrow is ready. Hooray! The little birds are looking for Grandpa Pig's flower seeds. Look, the little birds are back. Don't worry, Pepper. Mr Scarecrow will scare them off. It worked. Mr. Scarecrow has scared the little birds away. Hooray! Good. Now my flower seeds will not be eaten. Oh, Grandpa, the birds look very sad. Yes, they must be hungry. That's why I've brought this. What's that, Granny? It's a bird feeder. Grandpa, may I have some seeds, please? Come on, birdies. Lunchtime. Now the birdies have their own seeds to eat. Hooray! The little birds are happy again. <laughs> Peppa is glad that Grandpa Pig's seeds will not be eaten. But she is even more glad that the little birds will not be hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Pepper is going to the park. It's freezing cold. It is cold. Quick, let's get our warm clothes on. On cold days, Pepper and her family wear their hats and scarves and coats. I'll put the roof up. Oh, and let's get the heating on. Everyone nice and warm? Yes, Daddy Pig. Then let's go. This is the park. We're here. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, why are all the leaves red and yellow? It's autumn time, Pepper. In the autumn, it gets a bit colder and the leaves change colour. <sighs> it's quite windy. Let's play a game to keep warm. <laughs> <laughs> It's not meant to go that way. The wind is blowing the ball along. <laughs> the ball is in the pond. Hmm. I'll just use this stick to reach it. 
Just a bit further, Daddy. Be careful, Daddy Pig. Don't worry. I've almost got it. Whoa. <laughs> Daddy, is the water cold? A little bit. The wind has blown the ball out of the pond. That's lucky. Yes. What a stroke of luck. It's getting even windier. Hold on to your hats. No, the wind has blown George's hat off. <coughs> Don't worry, George. Daddy Pig will catch your hat. Quick, Daddy! <coughs> Look, it's in that little tree. Hmm. I'll just climb up and get it. The tree is much too thin to take your weight, Daddy Pig. So, how can we get George's hat? Simple. I'll give the tree a little shake. Huh. Maybe if I shake it a bit harder. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that sort of thing only happened to me. It's not funny. It is a bit funny, Mummy. I suppose it is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> Where's George's hat? It's on your head. <laughs> Here's your hat, George. Hold on to it this time. <laughs> the wind is blowing all the leaves off the trees. Look at me. I'm leaning into the wind. The wind is strong enough to hold Pepper up. <laughs> the wind is strong enough to hold George up. Daddy, have a go. Uh, I'm a bit too heavy. Come on, Daddy. It's really fun. Oh, all right. The wind is strong enough to hold up Daddy Pig. <laughs> I say, this is fun. Come on, Mummy Pig, give it a try. But if the wind stops, I'll fall over. <laughs> the wind won't just stop. The wind has stopped. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny. <laughs> <laughs> now the wind has stopped, what can we do? Hmm, what's your favourite game? Jumping up and down in muddy puddles. But there aren't any puddles. Just lots of boring dry leaves. And what do you do with dry leaves? I don't know. Jump up and down in them. Daddy Pig loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Pepper loves jumping up and down in leaves. <laughs> Everyone loves jumping up and down in leaves. This is the best autumn day ever. <laughs> <laughs>